design your environment and context for success. So you want to limit some choices and maximize others. There was a study that was done. They took this little, I think it was like a little market area in an office building and they studied how many people purchased bottled water as opposed to like a soft drink. And the, the company was studying employee health. All they did, the only change they made was they put bottled water in more places in the little market area. So instead of it all being in one refrigerator in one spot, they put bottled water, I don't know, like six or eight places. Just that had a huge, huge impact, big spike in, in bottled water sales. So how can you bring some intention to your environment and your context? One thing that I do, my phone does, does not have any notifications turned on for social media. I don't need to see every time someone likes something or comments on something. I do not need that. I do not need that cue, right? So I can eliminate a cue just by turning off that setting on my phone. We don't have a TV in our bedroom. What does that do? Well, that, that keeps us from just like watching TV in bed all the time. Okay. And never actually talking and connecting in our bedroom or whatever, you know? And so there's an example. What can you limit? What can you maximize in terms of your environment and your context? Design your environment and context for success. I've heard guys say before something like, oh, I don't want to put filters or blockers on my phone because then I'm not really choosing to. My opinion, baloney. And that's not the B word I want to say right now. The reality is, if you're bound and determined to act out, you're going to find a way to do it. Why would I not put up more blocks? Why would I not limit my access to cues? That sounds like wisdom to me.